And Jeff, researchers are studying a new COVID strain detected in the United Kingdom. The big questions right now are how contagious is it and will the vaccine work against it? On your sides, Brianna Ray Turner spoke with local doctors who say some answers are pretty clear. We don't have any reason to think that this new variant is, uh, is more lethal or more severe or causes more severe illnesses. A new COVID strain that's been circulating throughout the UK. There's certain changes in the genetic code of that virus that, that makes it a new strain. And some of the changes can happen to how contagious it is, in some cases, how dangerous it is, how, how much it can make you sick. Chad Nielsen, Director of Infection Prevention at UF Health Jacksonville, says the new strain isn't affecting the spike protein, which is what the COVID-19 vaccine uses to induce immunity. Both Moderna and Pfizer are doing trials uh, with folks who have been vaccinated, um, literally taking blood from them. Uh, and, and exposing that blood in a lab to this new variant strain. This is to see how well the vaccine works against the new strain. Nielsen says all evidence right now is showing that the vaccine is effective. Now there are two reasons for why this strain is getting exposure. More people who have tested positive had had this new variant strain. I believe they said over 60% of people that are, that are new cases in the UK now have this variant. And then number two, they put two and two together and they said, well, we're also seeing cases explode at a higher rate than we have before. And they think that means that this new strain is, is more contagious. Dr. Vincy Samuel, director of employee health at Baptist Health, says there's a chance that this new COVID strain is in the U.S. Regardless of that mutation, our precautions are still the same. You still have to wear your mask. You do want to get vaccinated when it's your turn to get vaccinated. Continue hand hygiene, disinfecting surfaces, and social distancing. In Jacksonville, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side.